And so begins day two. Press I to open your inventory. Chief of the Git! You know I had to do that. Yeah, it turns out for some reason I had two copies of Minecraft running at the same time. So the last video it said unregistered copy. Not sure what that was all about, but it doesn't matter. Here we go with our continued adventure, and I didn't know this because... I refuse to visit the Minecraft forums. But the adventure update is coming a lot sooner than I had realized. Isn't it tomorrow, I think, or two days from now, or something like that? Anyway, I I didn't realize it was so close. I thought it was going to be a lot longer. I actually thought it was going to get released uh, when the full version was supposed to be released in November. So. Now, why don't I visit the Minecraft forums? Well, they're a bunch of 4chan noobs, that's why. I put Pandora on there, didn't so much as get a reply, let alone get into the digital diamond category. So you know what? Screw those guys. Pandora is amazing, I don't care who you are. And Pandora 2 is going to be twice as amazing, maybe even three times. But they didn't even notice. Now, the people that did notice and made videos, and even the ones that just played it and loved it, you guys are awesome. I don't need no... Minecraft forum promotion, but every time I go there, it just seems like it's an orgy of idiots. So, I don't bother. If it's not on Notch's blog, I didn't hear about it. And I don't follow Jen's... I don't follow Jeb's or Jen's or whatever you want to call him. I don't follow his Twitter either, because I don't really see the point. And you say, Sor, that's a really dumb thing to say, because you just got done saying that you didn't know what was going on with the update, and Jens said in his blog post, or his Twitter post, that well, what was going on. So if you'd have checked that, you would have known. And the facts are that these things should be showing up on Notch's blog, because that is the main source, or at least it used to be the main source of information. I'm not a Twitter person, okay? I don't I don't really see the point or the idea behind it. I just the the Notch blog though is a place he set up to do bug tracking and eventually it turned into updates about Minecraft. So that's where I go. If Notch isn't gonna post there, I'm not gonna hear about it. But none of that matters. Because I was told and somebody took the time to post a video, uh the video that Notch made, I don't know where he was, showing some of the new features of the game. Oh, hey, there's the zombie. For 1.8. And I'm relatively excited. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm going to talk... Uh, try not to rant about some of the things that Notch has decided to uh, bring to the game. I like the experience orbs that he designed. Okay. Uh, but he said in the video that he's not sure what they're going to use them for yet. And... Or the skill points, I'm sorry. But everybody knows it's EXP, or it should be. Oh, look at this. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is, uh... Apparently I still have that mod installed. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so this is going to be an interesting adventure, because I have... Uh, what is this supposed to be for? Sulfur, I think? I forget, I'll have to look at it, yeah. This is for making bones. Oh well. Let's do it anyway. But yeah. <laughs> He's gotta have experience and... Okay, so you can't make more health, but you can regenerate your health as long as your food bar is, is up. And that's cool, you know. I'll take that. Because uh, that way you can play on hard and still regenerate your health as if you were on peaceful. So everybody wins combat system uh, it's gonna get a little taking it's gonna get a little uh, bit of me t getting used to the uh, the pullback on the bow and arrow even though I think it's it's a win it's a nice idea I approve and some of the more uh, the more detailed uh, ways that you can combat enemies it doesn't change the fact that the mobs are still horrendously difficult and difficult because they sneak up on you. Or the fact that the, the skeletons have pretty good accuracy. But I like 
you know, the couple of little things that he has done to the game to make the combat more interesting. Uh, he didn't go too much into the mob villages, but that's the kind of stuff I like to see, because it's free building materials. Let's face it, if you're stuck out in the middle of nowhere and you happen to come upon a mob village, now he said there's going to be NPCs running around. I didn't see any in the video, so I can't really form an opinion on what that's going to be like. But for some reason, I think it's going it's not going to be in this update, because there weren't any in the video. So we'll just leave that as it is until something else happens. But, uh, yeah, overall, I'm excited. I've been excited. But the thing that has really interested me is what I've been saying, and people who disagreed with me, now you're caught in your words, because I am about to prove my point. Notch decided to add creative mode back into the game. Now, for somebody like me, that's exactly what he should have done, and I'm glad he did. Because the way that he did it, it's pretty much like me using the zombie mod, or at least the features of the mod that I needed to create things like Pandora 2 and Project Legend. Without that, I, had, I was forced to rely on a modder to deliver. I don't have to do that now. I can create freely without worrying, is this going to work in the next update? Because the answer is already yes. Not knowing whether or not a mod is going to work creates a serious strain on production. You have to be sure, if you're going to plan a huge project like this, you have to be sure that you'll be able to deliver. And relying on modders is just not something I can do. I've had too many problems with that in the past, and it's just not reliable. So I said, in the past I've said, if Notch does something like that, then it's okay. Because I will know that it will work forever. Even if he updates the game and removes it completely, I will be able to say, hey, I can still use this. I'll just save a copy and make it with that. So there you go. Point taken. Checkmate. I win. And as I'm doing all these rants, it's all been pent up inside of me. I mean, it's just awesome. He's got all the blocks available. He's got fly mode. And that's all I really needed. You can destroy and break instantly. The only thing that, that Zombie Mod did have that this creative mode uh, doesn't seem to have is the ability to edit in, in chunks. Meaning I can, you know, hollow out an entire cubic area in one shot. But that's okay. I do not mind at all. All I know is Pandora 2 went, and Project Legend have gone from a status of probably to absolutely. And that is because Notch wised up. So, that is my rant about that. Now let's play some Minecraft. We are exploring through these caves here. And as you saw, uh, I accidentally left that mod installed, so I've got some some more ore types, you know. I wonder if one of those was to make bones. I can't remember. Is it this one? No, I don't know. Maybe it's a uh, three. You have to do. Let me try that. I don't have the guide up right now. And there's no reason for me to stop this video and look it up. If uh, if I'm in the middle of playing, I don't like doing that. Let's see. Now this was for something else. The Niter Crystal. And this stuff... Sulfur Crystal, yeah. I don't remember what they're for. I will look it up sometime. Or I'll just stash them in a chest somewhere and forget they ever existed. Who knows? Never know in this series. So yeah, this is just gonna be the jump start adventure, and when... That's really what I was waiting for, is the Adventure 1.8, which I'm pretty sure I said in a couple of videos ago. So, NeoCraft will continue with Adventure 1.8 and I might give Pandora 2 status updates. There's Donation Island updates coming and it's just going to be a good time. But you are going to see some adventure videos coming from me in the near future. And it's going to be a good time. I'm excited. 
Uh, Minecraft Season 2 is on the way. Very soon that's going to come out. And like I said, I suggest you get it. I'm going to keep talking about it, guys. If uh, you have any problems with getting it, such as direct download, there is an email associated, because I have five email accounts, and there is an email associated with technical support. So if for any reason you are unable to get something you donated for, then you need to contact that email address. I'm going to tell it to you now, but I'm still going to have it posted. The email is mgisorvius at yahoo.com. That's the email that pertains to all forms of technical support for gift page related items. MGISorbius at yahoo.com. I'll even put it on the screen for you there. Good. So yeah, a lot's going on. I was getting into that state of depression recently because nothing seemed to be happening. Seemed like I was losing everything. All my audience had gone away. You know, the donations weren't coming in. No updates from Notch. Haven't heard from my sponsors in a little while. And I don't know. Just sort of drains you after a while. But it's okay. I think it's nighttime though. And I was really hoping that this cave see I'm almost at sea level. This cave isn't doing anything interesting other than yielding coal and I got some irons which is good I can make armor so that's one question I have how is armor going to be used now that there's a food bar in the game or will be very shortly because it seems like the food bar is the uh, the new armor now you keep your food bar up and everything will be okay but we'll see I'm not gonna speculate leave that to my comments and let you guys do the speculating and anybody who is a, a person that frequents the minecraft forums and doesn't have any problem with them I don't care how you feel about the forums I say the minecraft forums uh, yeah not, not a place I go I'll get my information from the people that actually understand what I'm talking about and not the trolls that think because I have an opinion and it's not something you want to hear because it's probably the truth that you're going to kick and scream like a child and tell me how wrong I am and how I should crawl into a hole and die. Well, guess what? This is my Minecraft, and I can say whatever I want. Plus, I have that mentality from being a citizen of the United States or a fat American, as a lot of people from other countries would refer to me as, even though I, I'm not overweight. Um, you know... The stupid American. That's what I am, right? Because I don't like Minecraft forums. Well, sorry. You know how hard I've worked to bring this to where it is today? And I'm just going to keep right on going. My dumb, stupid, fat American self is just going to keep on keeping on while you sit there and watch and troll. You can troll all you want. It's not going to stop me from making videos. And it's certainly not going to stop me from trolling you back. Troll face. Trolls all over the place. Everybody's a troll, right? right. Is that a nice, nice rant, nice barrage of words? I hope so. So it is night. Has to be. Yes. I don't know exactly what time because I don't have a clock or watch or whatever you want to call it. So let's dig around here somewhere. I, I, I guess I should make... I don't really need shelter because this is uh, pretty enclosed. I can always jump up in the corner up there. But I do need to make... I think I left a workbench up there. I can't remember. Gotta make a uh, work table here because I keep running out of stuff. I think I did make a furnace already. I think it is up here. Because I was trying to do things. But... Maybe not. Oh, hey, skeleton! So that would have been a very bad idea. Ah! He's gonna kill me. No, he's not. I'm gonna kill him! Ow! Ah, jeez. Well, that didn't work. Now it's an adventure. 
Even though I'm pretty, pretty sure I know where I'm going. It wasn't too far from the spawn point. It's just going to be monster infested. Alright. Yeah, this is the mountain right here, so I have to run this way. I saw the Enderman. That's a funny looking fellow. Of course, why wouldn't he be? And uh, we're going to see just how hard he is to kill. I mean, you're talking to the guy... Me, now I'm referring to. You're talking to the guy that encased a ghast in glass. So there's no saying that I couldn't encase an Enderman in something. Even though he can move blocks around. We'll see what happens. It'll be fun. I'll figure out something fun to do with him. Because the Enderman doesn't scare me either. Like, remember, my Force is only afraid of slimes. And that's not really an issue anymore. Because you never see slimes anymore. Which means the only way to really get sticky pissed in is to hack. Or use the creative mode. I knew that zombie was there. I just didn't react. Gotta get back to where my torches are. I think it's over here. I hope it is. Because it's very dark outside. I can't see much. I said the brightness has changed and new lighting and all that. So we'll see what happens. I have to get into the valley here. Oh, one feature of 1.8 that I'm excited about is the new new terrain features like the rivers and the ravines that are going through the the ground that is really awesome because that's gonna make a lot of interesting cave explorations when I get my hands on that and it's only a couple days away so you'll get to see it firsthand on MGI it probably won't actually publish any of those videos until uh, next week because I'm gonna do a few more of these videos and see if we can't amount to something there we go. This is what I was doing. Let's go back in there and grab my stuff, I hope. I'm still lobbying for the backpack, though. Yep, here it is. All my cribbity crap. It's only been two minutes. It should still be around here. But I kind of needed that stuff. Well, some of it I needed. The modded stuff, I really, I don't, I don't know. If I take the time to look it up, then I'll use it, but until then, I just wanted to check up here, because I thought I put something, and I didn't put anything. Must have been another save. So the first thing, why am I yawning? I hate that so much! First thing is to kill these chickens, even though I should probably let one of them live to get an egg to make a cake for no reason at all. I'm going to try to fill this in as best I can. I don't think I have enough dirt right now for the job, but freezing. You know, I actually blue screened on this computer today. Not too excited about that. Hoping that's temporary. Yeah, all I wanted to do was make a shovel, but since I didn't have a furnace, I'm going to put one down now. Burn up the iron I collected, because, hey, it's 40, 47 iron. That's all right. I'll take it. Let's see, 48 is 6. That was right the first time. Yeah, that, that goes there. And then a chest, of course. Just a single chest. Start putting... No, you know what? I'll make it a double chest. Why not? We'll do that, and then uh, I'll have a place to put all my sulfur and crap that I find. Gravel, of course, goes in there. The seeds... See, if I'd have killed that skeleton, I could have could have used that. But I can make arrows, and I think I'll do that now. Because I'm going to find a spider and take him for all he's worth. Alright, that works. <clears throat> I said I was going to need arrows, and I'm definitely going to need arrows now. Maybe not for this, this video, but for this video series, but I am going to need arrows in Adventure mode. Worst case scenario, I take a break and I don't publish anything until Pandora 2 is finished. Which will probably take, I'm guessing Pandora 2 is probably going to take a solid month of work. Now I know some of you are thinking, Sorb, that actually seems like uh, that not that long. Seems like it might, it's, it's not going to take longer. It's like, well, I'm diligent. And I already have a pretty good idea of the main areas that I want to make and uh, how I want the game to run. So, I'm not too concerned about that. If I can just get in, you know, a couple hours a day, 
if my community will let me, I will be able to deliver. I'm just trying to dig out this coal here. <coughs> oh, I really hate that. I actually think it's daytime again, or it's going to be. Yes, so day three has started, so we will continue this next time. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah.